Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day because I was sent some goodies by the people at Zero Plus. And uh, the first thing they sent me was this Logic Cube Pro uh, 32 channel Logic Analyzer. Now, there are different versions of this that go from extremely affordable into the thousands of dollars and they sent me one of the fancier models, which is extremely generous of them. Um, I've messed around with a, a cheapy logic analyzer before, but I haven't spent a lot of time really digging into all that you can do with these things. And apparently there's a lot you can do. They're talking about automotive uses and looking at memory and wireless and, and logic and power and all that kind of stuff. And to be honest, uh, this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me. And so I'm not going to sit here and snowball you and tell you that I'm an expert about all this stuff and that I know everything about everything. I am going to use this as a learning tool and hopefully we together on this channel can learn a little bit about what you can do with a logic analyzer. Now, uh, you've seen oscilloscopes on a bunch of channels and you watch them reading waveforms and, uh, this is sort of what that does, except that it can actually interpret the protocols. So you not only see the little squiggly lines of the serial data coming out of your pins on your Arduino, but something like this can interpret what that serial data is or what the CAN bus data is or or any of uh, about a hundred other protocols, uh, what they can do. And so uh, this particular model is the, let's get the model number right, it is the three, it's the Lapsi Pro 32256M, which if you look over here, that's on the right side of the chart. And so being on the right side of the chart is usually a good thing. Uh, this one, it has, uh, eight channels with a gig per channel, 16 channels, uh, 512 megs per channel, or up to 32 channels with 256 megs of memory per channel. So it's got eight total um all of these higher end models can go up to two gigahertz with a sample rate external timing of 250 megahertz and uh yeah so there's a whole bunch of statistics in there it's usb 3 and windows 10 and so let's just open it up and see what it is let's see here okay all right slide the unit out of the box now this is the fanciest piece of equipment in all of my lab. And I can't even get it out of the box. There we go. Okay, so we have this carrying case and a little manual in here. And uh, so this is some kind of certification and calibration report. And so they stamped it that it has been, uh, it has passed all of its tests. And that this guy right here says that this unit is good. So if there's a problem with this unit, I'm coming after you, dude. All right, so let's open it up. We've got a padded case with a zipper around it. Ooh. Okay, so we'll set the unit aside for a second. We have a bunch of probes here. Uh, I'm guessing there's 16 or 32 probes. We've got, let's see here. Ooh, thumb. Is that a keychain or a thumb drive? That's a thumb drive. Okay, so we've got a zero plus thumb drive, the warranty card in English and Chinese, I believe, uh, have some DuPont cables. Now, I'm going to keep these packaged up because I don't know if there's anything special about these DuPont cables. I'm guessing not. Uh, so we've got some more DuPont cables. Now, okay, these, we'll, we will open these up. So these are bunched together with a uh, 10-pin female uh, DuPont connectors, and they have these little thingies here, which I'm guessing are for inserting the probes or some other kind of jumper wire. So those are specialty wires. Uh, we've got more of them here. So I'm guessing what they do is that they bundle this thing based on the number of channels, because they do make a lot of different versions of this board. So that's a second set of those things. We've got a USB 3 cable and we have the unit itself. So looking at the unit itself, it's got the, uh, the USB 3 adapter over there. It says here an expansion. So it's got a little, I'm not going to pull that apart, but it's got a little expansion 
bay over here. It's sort of grouped into channels, into eight channels at a time. So you've got A0 through A7 with a clock and a ground for each one. Then you've got B0 through 7 with a clock and a ground. Uh, and then I believe that there's places to do external clocking on this. And you've got a little power button and a run read trigger and looks like a power indicator light. So I am not ready to do a review on this thing by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I will be taking a look at it soon and letting you know what's on the thumb drive, what the software looks like. And uh, there's also two other devices that I am basically equally as excited about. And these are um, not as expensive as the Logic Analyzer, but I think they're very cool. These are protocol simulator boards, and there are two of them. And I'm going to open them up side by side. Okay, so we have these two boards, and I imagine they're going to look pretty much the same. Uh, and they do. I don't notice any physical differences between the two other than the board one and board two. But the idea of these boards is that they are designed to simulate protocols. And so imagine that you are building something, let's say automotive, and you want to set up this logic analyzer to be able to read your CAN bus and interpret data and send it to your laptop and all that kind of stuff, you probably are not going to have your car inside of your workshop. And so the idea of these things is that these things can simulate dozens of protocols and so you can use them to send sample data to the logic analyzer and make sure that you have everything right, make sure that you understand what's going on before you use it in a real application. And so I think that's pretty cool. And one of the things I was concerned about with testing something like this is just that I wouldn't be able to simulate enough protocols to make it interesting. So, I mean, I can do serial, I can do I squared C and all those things, um, but you can do that with the cheap logic analyzer that you'll get for seven bucks off of off of ebay so i wanted to find uh do some more advanced and esoteric things and so they have things like one wire three wire seven segment ac97 which i believe is sound uh mod bus manchester nec pcm ps2 you know all of those types of things these boards can simulate let me just pull out a couple random ones out of this one uh, this one can do uh, I squared C, PCI, WTB, Philips RT6. Uh, see if there's any other ones I recognize. USB 2, one, another one wire, KNX MIDI. Uh, so there's all kinds of different things that these things, I believe, can emulate. And they are based on the uh, ETOMS ET44M210Q. Uh, chip. So I am very interested in seeing how these things work and what we can do with these things. So again, thank you Zero Plus for trusting me enough to send this stuff to me. And uh, they gave me no parameters. They sent it to me, told me to take my time, no rush, do whatever I want with it and, uh, and enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to do. So hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.